data protection officer undertook an audit of the authority's existing um, data protection, uh, sorry, arrangements, data arrangements, and found that although whilst they were adequate, um, it would be beneficial to bring them all into one policy. This was subsequently recommended by an internal audit report as well. So the proposed draft of the policy is as attached in appendix one brings together in the one document um, how the authority clear guidance on how the authority um, collects data, the use of the data, how we process it and how we hold it um, and how we store it and also for any data access or data sharing. Um, the policy also details the appropriate steps that we need to take should there be a breach of data protection. Um, so members are asked to consider and approve the proposed data protection policy as the has been drafted in the land of the Data Protection Act 2018. Members got any questions or comments? No? Can I move that we approve the recommendation? Yeah. 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 Fine, the item 11, which is the internal audit report. Peter is initially going to say this to the and then bring Barbara in. Yeah, that's okay. Into the audit reports, uh, reports come to the full authority because um, it's just easier to bring the full authority when you know can. Into the audits have carried out uh, two reports since the last reports came. The first report, uh, at appendix one, is on the authority's uh, general data uh, protection regulations uh, response. Um, and uh, the, <coughs> the strategy, sorry, the policy that you've had to consider is a result of that, uh, part, part is a result of that uh, report. But I think that the thing to say about that is that our arrangements led by Paul's team are very new, and to get substantial assurance on very new arrangements is a really good result. And also, and we don't often get this, um, areas of good practice. So I think, I think it's worth, worth saying that at this stage. The second report was on a review of the environmental management system at the authority, and again, there was substantial assurance and no high priority areas for improvement. So I think, I think quite good audit reports for members where uh, actions have been recommended, officers are already on with implementing those. Barbara Aspinall from St Helens is here to provide perhaps a bit more detail. Okay. Thank you, as Paul mentioned, the General Data Protection Regulations came in in May 2018 and it's agreed that Internal Audit would undertake some assurance work later in the year on those arrangements of the authority and we have been able to provide substantial assurance. Um, on page 133 you'll see um, we have identified areas of good practice with key internal systems and processes in place and developed uh, for compliance with general data protection. Uh, an information sharing agreement is, was currently in draft at the time of the review uh, which detailed the appropriate um, sharing of information governance arrangements. The, there are three medium priority recommendations and they are included over the page and there are two low recommendations which have been reported outside of this report and we'll be following those up in due course. So on page 135, you'll see that there are three recommendations. The first one, as you've seen today, the uh, data protection uh, policy has been put forward, um, so that has now been implemented. Recommendation two was about how consent for holding personal information um, is included on privacy notices. Um, we've been informed that that has already been implemented. And recommendation three, uh, a draft retention schedule was in place, however it doesn't contain the retention periods for all the types of information that's held by the authority. So retention policy periods should be agreed for all types of information held and the retention schedule finalised. Um, that is due for completion by the 31st of March. We will be following up on these in a later report that comes to the meeting. Um, in a few months' time, can we follow up all of the recommendations? The second report from environment, the Environmental Management System on page 137. The Environmental Management System is subject to external verification against an ISO standard. 
so the scope of our review was to look at um, providing an assurance on the authority's own auditing process with regard to the EMS and again we've been able to provide a substantial assurance opinion on those arrangements. On page 141 the areas of good practice are outlined. A, a robust framework is in place as you would expect uh, under having an ISO standard in place. Roles and responsibilities are clear and well defined and there are um, well documented manuals in place for the EMS system and appropriate training on EMS has been delivered to staff. We have included some key areas for development. We found that some of the uh, internal EMS audits, the scope of those were, were narrow, resulting in a more light touch approach. Uh, also, the evidence to support the EMS auditor judgments was lacking in some cases. Um, we feel that an introduction of a quality um, management oversight, I suppose, in terms of the drafting process being introduced uh, in terms of those audits. So in terms of recommendations, we have three medium priority recommendations over the page and one low priority, which again was reported outside of, of this report. <coughs> so on page 143, uh, as I mentioned, in some of the audits, the scopes were limited. Um, so we want those to, we'd like those to be more clearly defined in advance of audit reviews and the time scale for that has been given as the 31st of March. The second recommendation um, is that in many cases the evidence of the audit reports pointed to a procedure being in place rather than actual testing of compliance against that procedure to see that, that the processes were actually operating. Um, so the auditors should be required to specify within their reports when necessary the compliance testing that they have actually undertaken. And again, that is due for uh, implementation by the 31st of March. The second part of that recommendation relates to management oversight. So having a quality assurance role inbuilt into the drafting of audit reports to ensure that there is sufficient challenge to those reports and to show, um, to confirm the basis of the auditor's judgments. Um, we've been informed that that recommendation has been implemented. Okay, thanks Barbara. Have you got any questions or comments you'd like to make? I think there are no key issues for members who like to see the good report. So can I read the recommendation? They agree? Agree. Okay, I think that concludes our business for today. And thank you for attending. Have a nice weekend everyone.